Okay, back here. I keep getting phone calls and my, my video gets cut off. You come back from the wood floor into the kitchen and you have a really beautiful uh, natural stone floor. Also the carpet here going up the stairs and it's the same throughout upstairs, Dennis, all yes. the way? Yes. So this is an upgraded carpet compared to the carpet that you've seen in all the other units. Much nicer. You've got a sub-zero fridge, side-by-side -side freezer and refrigerator. You've got a wolf oven. Upgrade. Yeah, they know that. From, instead of a GE profile and a wolf built-in micro. And then your granite, your GE monogram range hood, your security system. And nice little granite backsplash all around. Okay, so we're going to move forward now. Actually, let me go back here. I'm sorry. <laughs> let me go back here and do the... Uh, there's a little pantry, which I'm sure you remember, because you saw this typically in this floor plan, which is the 1,852 square foot floor plan. You've got the tumbled stone floors here in the, in the powder room on the lower level, and then in that powder room, you'll also have Kenmore washer and dryer. They're setting on top of each other, but they're not attached, so that means if you had a problem, you could replace one or the other. Nice thing in the garage here is you have a really beautiful um, epoxy floor, much nicer than raw concrete that gets stained and doesn't last too long or look great. So I'm moving through pretty quickly. You've got some closet space and um, yeah, that's about it. So back into the uh, little access area and back through the kitchen. So looking across furnishings in the living room. And then back over here to the dining room. Table and six chairs. And then there's a little entry table with lamp and clock and so forth on the wall. A couple of nice prints here and a nice mirror. On the lanai, you've got uh, travertine in a uh, kind of a mocha color versus the tumbled stone. It's a much nicer so hard finish, instead, and it's also instead of the raw concrete. And you have the four foot extended lanai. Looking out here again, looking back, there's a really nice drainage gulch and plenty of separation and privacy between this and the neighbor unit. It's a cloudy afternoon with quite a bit of weather, but looking out, we get a really pretty view, monolithic view of uh, Molokini, and behind that would be Ka'ohalawe, but it's raining. Um, and then we also get to see a bit of, uh, again, Ka'ohalawe and the ocean through that area. Nice hillside here, and very nice private yard, very private because the unit to the west is a below grade. There's a nice stucco wall and landscaping, and you really have total privacy here. And then your master bedroom uh, comes out to the lanai. Because it's extended four feet, you have a lanai in front of the master. Okay, coming into the uh, bedroom area, right before you get in there, there's a linen closet. And they've continued the wood floors in there. And then you have the upgraded carpet here. And nice eight foot sliders, so great view, a lot of light. When you walk in the master, you actually get a nice ocean view here out to Molokini again. And if you remember, they did something unusual. They recessed the space in the wall here. And um, it's quite nice. And there's also crown molding, that's standard. And then we look through to the master bath. And you've got two sets of mirrored sliders here, one on either side, and then another linen closet. And then the carpet changes into the uh, tumbled stone floor. Have your water closet and your shower with frosted glass, your granite counters, your big tub, floor of 
shower, walls of shower, a couple of details of chair rail, and the stone all around the perimeter here. And in the bath, in the master bath too, there's a little um, closet area built in with a granite countertop as well. And then his and hers, or his and his, or hers and hers, vanities. And your mirrors. And a little piece of uh, 